Welcome to today's EMBN show. Martin is here just to give us a nice smile. But seriously, on today's show, we've got some cool bikes, cool products, and some great ideas of places for you guys to go. Give us a smile, Martin. Martin, yes. some fantastic bikes this week. Lovely. First of all is, do you know what? Is it called a Rottweiler or is it called a Rotwild? Rotwild. Rotwild. Now Rot this Rotwild, I'd Rotwild. Say. No, this Rotwild. Uh, the RX275 is allegedly one of the lightest, if not the lightest e-mountain bike ever made at 15. Point Three kilos. Whoa, that yes. is light. And to look at Steve, if it just rode by, you'd never know. You would never know. You would never know this is an e-bike. You would never know. It's no. funny, actually, me and Louis were in a dirty Welsh Y Valley bog yesterday. Wondered where that was going. With a, with a Trek Fuel EX and a Trek Fuel EXE. Now, one's a, a, a analog bike, one is a, is a light powered yeah. e mounted bike. You would not know the difference. No, look and at this. Similar with this, it's got the TQ HPR50 motor on there. Big fan of that. Big fan oh, of the right motor. Yeah. We've got one right here. Yeah. We have got yeah. one right here. I mean, we've I just one. think that's just a great piece of design, just aesthetically. But you said last week you'd like some updates to this, didn't you? Um, you said you liked some nice little covers. I just feel like it's such a great piece of uh, mechanical engineering and design that you could really bling it up a bit with some nice little covers. Go down the route of like motorcycle trousers or something. Mm. Create some nice, look Look at this little plate that goes on that little yeah. cover there. I mean, that could be anodized in a different color. This could be a nice I can, silver, it could I, look really great. Let's, let's think about the word motor I when can we look at feel, these things, I can feel, I can feel TQ's uh, years burning as we speak. Good, uh, good. So yes, this is at the heart of the new Rotfield's uh, RX275. Um, it's a 120, 130 system, and uh, it's got loads of fantastic features on there. I mean, geometry numbers will come to a minute, but Mart, this thing, which I think is unique to this bike, is it's got a boost button, which gives you, get this, 300 watts of extra peak power. <laughs> That's now, a lot. It's a lot, it's, it's for 30 seconds. So what I like about that is the fact that, you know, a, a, light, a light assist bike, it's easy on the battery, but, I think the boost button, when, when things get really out of hand, yes. you've got that bit of punch. Yeah. So I, th I think it's a very cool feature. I, I just only hope it's got an off button. Exactly. Get this thing out of here! Uh, oh, just the, flying. This ain't, this ain't actually the boost button off the Rotville. This is something we should talk about in a minute. But uh, yeah, 29 ish wheels, range of sizes, uh, prices, ooh, 12,499 euros. I'm out. You're out. But uh, geometry, folks, chainstay 437, C2 bangle 75.5, uh, 66 head tube angle, and uh, yeah, um, four, 460mm reach in size medium. So yeah, uh, I think. Very handsome bike, though. Very uh, handsome. Do you know what I think Rotwell made great bikes? Mm. They did. I used to race a Rotwell back in the 90s. Did you? Long time ago. <laughs> oh, that's going back a bit. That is going back it a bit. It is going back a bit. What else we got, Steve? Rose, Rose, we've got Ooh. the new Root Miller. Root, Root, what's Root Miller? I don't know, what I haven't is, looked at it yet. Hang Lauren, on. Root Miller, what's Root Miller? Second ever e-bike from uh, Rose. Ah, so Root Miller is the second ever e-bike from Rose. I don't know what the name is, but uh, decent prices on this bike. £4,999, which is like a third of the price of the road build. Mm. Uh, I love the colour green. Yeah. Because let's face it, you know, we talk about the technical details of this bike, but it's what the looks are quite are equally important, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I've got, I mean, you can see the diff what you get for your money does change, doesn't it? <laughs> Be it, I, I don't, Ooh. you know, I'm not hating on it. I do like it in that green, the green's strong. Um, and it's using like the Boss Power Tube mo uh, power, power Tube battery. Yeah, 625, uh, 625 battery. 625 battery, yeah. Bosch motor in there. 160 mil, sorry, 150 mil travel. I think, I think it's yeah, it's nice to see Rose getting involved in the e-mountain bike world. Now, next up, uh, I had a story about the classified power shift hub. Uh, on the show a few weeks ago. Mm. And I said at the time, Mart, that they've only got road and gravel versions of the hub. However, oh. however, crikey, better not lose that. Now the Don, our colleague, the Don on GMBN, is doing a video about this. So there, guys, is the heart. It's basically um, a two-speed rear hub. That doesn't mean to say you want to go two gears. It changes the ratio of your rear wheel. Now, have you felt the weight of that? Have you felt the weight of that? That's yeah. like ludicrous. 
It's crazy how light it is, actually. You really expect it, just from the sheer size, expecting it to be big, but So this, uh, uh, heavy, so this is their not. first mountain bike specific rear hub. So I think the possibilities here, you can have smaller cassettes, you can have stronger chains. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's where things are at. I can tell you're a big fan of this because you keep going on about it. You do keep going on about it. Yeah, I mean, I, think, I feel like you're, uh, you're on something here. You really are. I, I think the thing is, the reason I say this is like, you know, we talk about, and I'll come on to this actually. Oh, there it is, look at that, I didn't, I didn't show you that. Now guys, this is, Mark will show you. No, you, do, you do it, Mark, you do it. This is the remote uh, actuator. It doesn't need to be complicated, does it? No, it's lovely. It's lovely and simple and just, it's nice that you just put it on your bike, no cables. It's going to make a big difference. At a price. At, oh, at a price. hang on a at minute. A Am price. I out again already? Actually, can I just tell you how it works, Matt? So Go basically on. you've got the, you've got the remote on the handlebar. Um, you've got a, an axle which is on here with a, a tightener thingy-majig. That communicates, changes Technical gear. Term. Yeah, thingy-majig. Uh, pretty simple on the weight of that wheel. Mm. The weight's unreal. I was really surprised, actually. Um, pricing, guys. Um, bearing in mind everything that's gone on in the drivetrain world in the past few weeks. Well, I mean, did we something don't... happen? Something kind of happened. Uh, it was a masterclass, actually. It was a masterclass. We won't go into that. Anyway, classified power shift. We're looking at, um, for the power shift hub set with the hub shell, 1,549 euros, or you can get the hookless carbon wheel set, which has got a front wheel as well, for 2699. So, so it's, so it, it's I'm a, out. You're out. <laughs> That's a lot of money, I, man. I, That's a lot of money. I think a lot of people will be in. You didn't hear that. You honestly didn't hear that. I think a lot of people will be in. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> look at his little sweet little face. Oh dear. <laughs> I think a lot of people will be in because you can run a, a smaller cassette. You can have like a, an eight-speed cassette mm -hmm. with a chunkier chain, which is going to give you more durability of your drivetrain. Yeah. Come yeah. on, Matt. Yeah, I, I like, like it. Do I, I like really it. need to be selling this to you? It's just a lot of money, Steve. That's all. It's just a lot of money for a okay. wheelset on a very expensive bike already. I hope know? it still works having this I, just, I do wonder sometimes how expensive these bikes are going to get. And do the, does the world really expect us to keep paying this? I, that's the thing though, everyone keeps paying the prices. I guess we have to, don't we? Let's change from products, folks, to places for you guys to go and have a look at some of these fantastic bikes. Yes. And I guarantee you there will be bikes there at lower price points than some of the ones we've already shown. And Verbier e-bike festival in Verbier, surprise, surprise, is the place to go. Mm -hmm. Taking place uh, 10th to the 14th of August this year. It is a great place to go if you're thinking about buying your first e-bike, your second e-bike, if you want to go and taste some chi chi some <laughs> wine and cheese. Does that, do they do wine and cheese in Vervier? They do wine and yeah. cheese in Why Vervier. do I, I know it from the skiing days of Ski Sunday. Still, still skiing it's going still on there. still a skiing it's place. It's still in the mountains. Um, it hasn't it, moved. It hasn't moved, but <laughs> have you ridden there? A lot. Have you? I have. I've not ever ridden this, so I don't know much about it other than Ski Sunday. Yeah, and the snow is still there, yeah. and the mountains. Yeah, I, I get the <laughs> landscapes, probably saying, but what's it like on a mountain bike to ride? I mean, is it is it perfect alpine oh, riding? Oh, I don't go, I go there for the wine and cheese. Oh, okay. I don't go for the mountain biking. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't say that. Yeah. I needed to make that clear. You go to the really. south of France for your mountain biking, I, don't you? Um, All the time. And Y Valley on a dirty Tuesday in March. Anyway, guys, that's, that's, the, that's the news this week. Let's move on to uh, some other news, which is the pedals that we gave away a few weeks ago. Okay, Mart, here's the next story. Oh, it it's the pedal giveaway it from Neat Proof. It oh is. my God, we've got all these in all sorts of colors. Who are the winners, Steve? The winners are, actually, shall I put it on screen now? Yeah, let's see their names, see if they come up. Baron, Maca Baron Carr, Jim McCauley, Roger, James the Johnson, Blind Johns, Phil Choman, Terry State, Tebow, Corkek, McColland, Michael Batista. Celebrate. You just won yourself some pedals. That's pretty good. Any colour, any type will be sent to you wherever in the world you live. Good enough, Samuel. <laughs> Very good cool. enough for you. Very cool. Fantastic. Very cool. My favourite pedals of all time. Okay guys, we're gonna take a bit of a break now because an old friend of mine, Martin that doesn't actually know him, he was the World Masters Down Champion. He's uh, ridden in the Paris-Dakar. He's mechanic in the Paris-Dakar. 
Uh, what else he's done? He's been on the start line of um, what's the beach? Western Beach Race next Ooh. to Travis Pastrana and Jamie Dobb. Who is this guy? His name is John Walker. He's otherwise known as Wack, Johnny Wack Walker. And yeah. obviously, he's a dab hand of tools. Yes. And he's here to give you guys a few tips. Hi, Wax Hacks here again to get the maximum life from your drivetrain, from your chain. I'll just show you what I use and what I do. Uh, I've got a, a chain here that I pre-cleaned with a degreaser, uh, any degreaser, uh, you degrease it, dry it off. And then what I do, I use a motorcycle grease that I boil in a pan, outside preferably. If you do it inside, put the uh, extractor fan on because it does smell quite a lot. So boil the wax on a in a pan, you drop the cleaned chain in, let it soak for a few seconds, probably only about 30 seconds, let the grease get inside the link. Once you've done that, turn the gas off, make sure the gas is off, before you move the pan, hold the chain up, hang it in a suitable place that you've prepared earlier, which we have done here. My garden. In Steve's garden, hang it on a suitable hook. The chain will drip dry. Let it dry till it's almost cool. The wax will go in the links, dry off, and the chain will last probably twice as long, if not longer. Once we've installed the chain, after you've rode uh, once or twice, I lube the chain up with uh, a decent chain wax. Uh, this is great, it goes on milky. You put it on milky and it will dry, it doesn't stay white, it will dry clear and it lubes the links. You need to lubricate your chain in between your waxes. There you go, another wax hacks. Let's take a look at some cool places to ride your e-bike, shall we, Steve? Come on, I've got some good ones for you. I mean, this is uh, South, Mount South Mountain Phoenix. Yes, look at that. Oh, in Arizona. Beautiful. I've never been to South Mountain when it looks green. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yes. When I it's think easy. Arizona, I think red. But yeah, it does look great. Uh, fantastic looking spot. And I like oh. the look of this bike, like oh. that colourway. Hold on a minute. You're going to America soon, aren't you? Sea Otter Festival. Sea Otter Classic. What yeah. have you got planned? Uh, we are going to be doing a couple of races. I'm going to be riding my first enduro. We're going to be looking at all the stuff they've got at the tell, festival. Tell me more. Your first enduro? Yeah, I've never ridden an enduro. Never. Right. So I'm going to do an enduro. Right. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Blake's going to help me out. He said he could help me. Although last time he helped me out with nutrition, he just smashed cakes and squirty cream in my face all day long. Didn't oh, I remember that. Yeah, it wasn't that was very actually helped. quite was, funny though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, for everyone else. <laughs> for everyone else. Uh, next up, we've got um, Speechless Trail to Ride. This is in Ui in Kula, Malaysia. They Ooh, said it's yeah. one of the best trails to ride and definitely looks like it. Yeah, it does. Look, Malaysia oh, is I... a fantastic place to ride bikes. I've been to Malaysia and ridden bikes, and it, I'll tell you what though, it's humid. Oh my goodness, it's what humid. What did you do in Malaysia? Uh, I did a Asian tour of a stunt show I was on. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Do you know what? Let's not go into that. No. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we've got Christine. Now, Christine, I'm guessing this is Christine. This is the squirrel squeezer, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Here she goes. The squirrel nice. squeezer nice. is in Utah. Got her EMBN top on as well. Yes, so squirrel, Come on. squirrel squeezer lives in British Columbia, oh, but she's obviously on, on holiday Yet again. So I think three fantastically inspirational places Very to go inspiring. and ride your bike. Yeah, love that. I love that view from Christine at the end there as well. Very good. Very good. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Keep them coming in. Comments and questions. Are you concentrating, Martin? Oh, yeah. Good. And the answers? Oh, I was going to read the questions, because okay. I'm not that good on answers. The questions um, let, are... Let, let me give you a quick... Well, one of the comments from uh, one of our videos 
on the channel on the world's lightest full power EMTB. That's the uh, giant yeah. Trans Advanced X Elite. Yeah, uh, Peter K asked, kilos. Yeah. Hey EMBN, do they change the geometry since the 2022 model? I found the seat tube angle was a bit too steep. Too steep. So it's so obviously had one. Has, have they changed that, Steve? Do you know? I, I think some of the geom actually it depends on what because you can change the geometry on this bike. Right. So that's different. I mean, it is the the Trans Elite is an all new bike with a 400 watt hour battery, 18.8 kilos. This is the this is the bike where you can have uh, the Giant Sync Drive Pro as either a full power 85 newton meter or you yeah. can. Tune it down to have it as 20 newton meters. So, seat, I never thought the seat tube angle was too steep anyway. I think it's 77, which I think is bang on. Uh, they will have changed it over earlier models for sure. Uh, next up, Mart, is I can't read this Federal Deli. Federal Deli, good name. Uh, will you test the new 2023 SRAM XX Axis drivetrain on a specialized e bike? Have you heard of the new Axis drivetrain? I, there was some mention of it on um, every think, Instagram ever the other day. It was, wasn't there? Yeah, a little mention of it. It was a yeah. masterclass. Yeah. Lots of it? people standing on rear triangles. Yes. Didn't it's get it's it an myself. interesting one, isn't it? There was there's quite a few stories out there and you know a lot of people saying, well, if you've got if you've got a chainstay and you've got a derailleur and the, all the force is transmitted through there, surely it's gonna damage the frame. Yeah, I reckon. Lots of comments. I reckon I could have broke that derailleur, and I'm trying to get my hand on one to prove it. I mean, but you no can, one will let me have of one. Of course, you can break anything, aren't you? But the answer to your question is. I don't really want to break one. Um, a specialized e bike. Um, well, they're not actually on current specialized e bikes. What's the time we're going to press on this? But maybe on a future specialized e bike. Oh. Who knows? Time dependent. Who knows? Is there eh? an embargo coming? Uh, now, question number three is Herman Clays who asks, is the bottle battery extender already available? And this is on the Trans Advanced Elite as well. Now this is a 250 watt hour range extender. I think the answer to that is yes, they are available. There you go. There's some questions answered. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, then obviously the comments is where you can get involved with the show. So if you've got something you'd like to ask or something you'd like to say about one of the videos, get involved in the comments and then Steve will use his big e-bike brain to answer anything you need to know. And talking of questions, it's time for our weekly question of you guys, actually. So also in the comments, this is where you can answer it. Um, it's just a way of us getting to know what you're all about. And this week, our question is, um, we want to know how many of you have an electric mountain bike? If you do, what is it? And if you don't, what's the reason? Let us know in the comments down below. You know, it's a getting to know you thing. Bike vault time, Steve! Da, da, da. That was essentially just louder. It wasn't really any different. Um, but it is time for the bike vault. Um, and the first bike is Aaron's Focus Sam 2. Uh, you know this spot, don't you? That is on the wall trail. In uh, and you, uh, do you know Forest. what? I can tell the cold spoil tips in the background. Yeah, it's a giveaway. Very it's a great good. shot. Yeah. Drive side, pedals oh, at three o'clock. Oh, it's nice. No, nice. No, why, is, why does both the sides are a drive side? Both sides drive the bike. Don't, why is one not a drive side? Don't be ridiculous, Steve. Next up, we've got non-drive side. Yeah, but it's a brake side. No, it's a non-drive side. This is non-drive side. It's from Robert. It's his specialised lever expert. Tell you what, been around the other way. That'd have been a super nice one. <laughs> oh, come on! No, it's totally no, super nice. No, Blake would kill me. Blake this, would kill me. Is this a new laptop? It's nice. It's nice. Shh, don't talk about the laptop. What happened to the old laptop? Next up in the bike. Let's know your thoughts in the comments. We've got there. Paul's specialised 2022 S Works Turbo Levo non drive side. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> uh, but it's a lovely looking bike. It is a lovely looking bike. You're mental. Isn't You're nice? actually mental. Isn't it nice? Do you do this in the GMBN show? You have oh, to yeah. have drive. Side. I, look well, at Blake. Blake look, likes to see the drive side. He gets yeah, cross. Look at the white chalk and the, uh, you can see the carbon and the down Steve, tube. Steve, I'm not denoying it's a very nice it's bike. Ridiculous. It's a ridic very nice. It's a ridiculous rule. Next if you bike. guys think it's a ridiculous rule, let's let oh, know your thought. Oh, look, there's a dog in it. That's a Love super it. nice straightaway. Oh, um, that's good. Uh, this is Marin, uh, Marcus's Marin Alpine Trail E2. Uh, ridden that, Steve? Ridden one of those? 
I haven't, no. Uh, well, Where is that? Is that Kum Khan? Uh, it is in Kum Khan, yes. Well spotted, Steve. Uh, and the little dog, let's see if we can find the name, Bella. Bella. Great, great image, great bike vault. If you've got a bike, send it into the NBN. We'd love to see it. Another new part of the show is uh, the social side of things. <laughs> um, Love it. Stefan, Sam, why are you, are you being sarcastic? No. You I are, really, aren't you? No, I do love you it. You are being sarcastic. I just don't you're imagine you're on movie, social it? media much. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't. I just don't imagine you're <laughs> on social media. Because <sighs> I was like too busy in the south of France. Well, you're used to losing a landline and stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. You can't abuse your colleague on the show. Oh, they love it. They love Look, it. Look, this is Stefan Sam uh, on the Absa Cape Epic, epic uh, on, on a bubbles. Yeah, it, I tell you what, it's a that brilliant, trailist. it's a brilliant Ooh. angle. Um, amazing flow they're riding and, and the Absa Cape Epic looked absolutely epic. It, it looked did, brilliant, didn't it? didn't it? It was such a good race. Talking of epic, I love this ridge, uh, ridge line. Um, it's on Husqvarna Instagram this week. Uh, nice. I don't know who it is. Now, Johannes Fishback rides for Husqvarna. Um, is that I don't him? know if it is him though. Oh, I don't know. But I think the ridge shot on here is... Yeah, it's cool, like, Look at that! Oh, look at that! so good. Insane. So good, making uh, it look nice. And finally, Josh Bryceland. What's Josh Bryceland been doing? Let's have a look. Oh yes, of course, he's out in uh, he's somewhere further south. Where is he exactly? Is it Madeira? He's in Portugal, isn't he? Yeah. I think that rock there, Mart, is... Looks, look at that, yeah, look at that, nice. look at that. Boy's got skills, boy has got skills. Do you know what, he cooked me breakfast a month ago. Yeah, good lad, isn't Not it? a bad breakfast either, I have to say. <laughs> uh, great, great action uh, from the e of Bug World. Coming up on the channel this week, uh, we have got a look at, well, actually, one of Wack's bike, Johnny Wack Walker, uh, Wax Hacks uh, fame. You know Wack. You do know Wack. Now, he's actually built, or he's custom built a track rail, standard out of the box track rail, about 22 kilos. He's got some custom parts on there, and he's got it down to just a fraction over 19 kilos. Woo! Uh, that's almost it for all this week's uh, EMBN show. Don't forget, we have got the Ask EMBN show where you guys to send in any of your e-mountain bike related questions and I will attempt to answer them. Or indeed, Martin with his beautiful <laughs> smiling face. But, uh, one bit of information just before we go. I've yeah. got this thing stuck on my finger. <laughs> the classified. I mean, you've got... You <laughs> That's probably like a 600 pound thing stuck in your finger there. Nice, isn't it? Guys, let us know what your thoughts are on the classified hub and indeed the new 15.3 kilo uh, Roadfield RX275. See you next week. <laughs>